Hello, my name is Matt Stark and I am your student's economics teacher at Heron High School. So during this video I'm going to share a little bit about myself, the economics class, sort of my vision and goals for the class. Uh, this is my sixth year at Heron High School. Uh, I've taught economics um, two semesters all my previous five years plus some summer courses as well. Um, this is my 14th year teaching overall. Uh, I have really enjoy teaching economics, uh, partially because it's always changing and it's always in the news. And so we can always talk about how it affects students' daily lives, um, whether it's what's happening with inflation, with gas prices right now, to how COVID has changed the economic landscape at a local, federal, and really worldwide level. And so, you know, whatever we talk about, whether it's supply or demand or, inf or inflation or gross domestic product, or anything like that, we can relate it to things that students can see in their own lives. If they're not dealing with it immediately right now, they will be dealing with it in the near future. Uh, and that really is one of my main goals, is to show students how economics affects their lives every day. Um, and how, uh, how learning more about economics um, not just helps them have better financial um, habits and, and become more responsible with their money, uh, but also how to think about a lot of these issues because, um, again, economics is one of the core issues that's always in the news cycle. Can polit politicians are always talking about economic plans and policies, and, and so students can um, you know, dive into these debates a lot more if they have some basic information um, about the uh, local, um, federal, and worldwide economy. Um, and so that's really, I feel like, my job to, to um, show them how economics impacts them on a, on a regular basis. Uh, it's a semester course, so we talk about a lot of different things, kind of scratch the surface. Uh, we start with what is economics and then kind of move on to how people make economic decisions and the different types of economic systems that exist. Uh, we move on then to supply and demand, um, how that affects um, local businesses all the way up to worldwide businesses and countries economies. Uh, we talk about the different types of business structures like monopolies, um, monopolies in history like Rockefeller Standard Oil. We do a little case study on that. Um, we talk about the different indicators of how we can tell whether our economy is healthy. Things that students have seen in the news for the last year and a half like gross domestic product, unemployment rate, uh, inflation, the poverty rate and how those can indicate whether an economy is heading in one direction or another. Uh, we also look at how economics affects them personally with their own personal finance. We talk about the different types of credit cards, debt, uh, credit scores, um, predatory lending practices. We have uh, a Starkonomics, which is a uh, simulated economy where students have a job assigned, or they pick a job, they have an assigned salary, they have bills they pay, and at least once a week, they draw from a deck of uh, chance cards that I created of different economic situations that pop up, like flat tires, broken appliances, illnesses, and injuries, to show students the value of being prepared for the unexpected in life. Um, so that is a little bit of what your student's going to be doing this year. Um, some really good tools to help them succeed is, one is organization. Um, if they're going to be using paper copies, having a folder just for economics where they can put stuff that's due and stuff that's done in different pockets. Or what I'm more emphasizing is using Google Classroom where all the assignments are neatly listed. Students can submit them online. They can see the feedback that I've posted. They can look ahead on when the tests and quizzes are. And they can even go back and redo assignments or look over assignments they've done in the past as well. Um, and, and so that is a really important tool. And ask questions. Um, this class is fun because students ask questions. They, they talk about what they saw in the news last night or a question about a credit card offer they got in the mail or something they heard on a podcast. And so we can talk about that. And that's really what makes this class a lot of fun to teach. Um, so if you have any questions or comments for me, um, feel free to email me. My email is mstark at heronhighschool.org. Um, I've really enjoyed these last couple weeks already, and I'm really looking forward to uh, having a strong semester with your students. So feel free to uh, contact me with any questions or concerns. Uh, thank you for listening. Have a great night.